We really, really focus on student achievement and we support them all along the way. And our uh, college and career readiness is wonderful. We have a 100% graduation rate and they're uh, highly achievable on uh, SAT and ACT scores and prepare them for college. And it's a wonderful opportunity. Um, about Hi everyone, I'm Monica from SCOLA. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's SCOLA School Chat video. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our awesome school interviews. Ready to look at some schools? I know I am. Let's jump right into it. Hi, this is Sean with SCOLA. I'm here at Benjamin Franklin High School in Queen Creek, Arizona. And I'm here with Principal David Farnhorn. Thank you so much for having us. Absolutely. And to kick things off here, can you just tell me a little bit about the school and the mission here? Absolutely. The school here at Benjamin Franklin High School is a classical education model, mm -hmm. college prep, liberal arts program. And we live right here in the wonderful town of Queen Creek, which was just rated uh, number one best city to live in in the United States. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. Absolutely. So we, we are right on the Queen Creek and uh, Gilbert border. Okay. And what does that mean, that classical model that you just mentioned? What, how does that uh, take part here in this week? Um, that is a, can be a very complicated question, but uh, as a simplified version of it, uh, it is to seek after truth, seek after goodness and beauty. And there's a lot of tactics and strategy and um, techniques that we do to use that. Okay. Um, and we try to strive to um, teach children how to think and not what okay. to think. And we use that through all the wonderful history and classical literature and all the wonderful life lessons that we've learned through the history of mankind. And there was something else here that really caught my eye. It was the Charger Way, which was in a few different classrooms and in the hallways. What's that all about? Absolutely. The Charger Way is posted in every single classroom, all throughout the hallways. It is really our mantra. It is a okay. model that we follow. It is a guiding principles mm -hmm. to help us to figure out more of like a code of conduct a little bit. Okay. So the Charger way is a um, way to help us to know how we should act. And it helps us remind us. And it's wonderful. It's become a symbolism um, for all of us to understand and learn so that we can help each other to strive to live the Charger way and also recognize when we're outside of the Charger way to mm -hmm. get back into it. All right. Get back on the right path yeah. there. Okay. And, you know, tell me what are kind of three things that really make this school unique? That is a very good question. We have three pillars that we really live to strive to follow. And that is, first and foremost, the first pillar is academics. Okay. That is by far our, uh, at, at our peak pillar that we like to strive after. Uh, but what makes us very unique is we aim to really have athletics mm -hmm. and the arts really close supporting pillars to that. And so it's, it goes along with a classical model where it's the whole child. Right. So it's not just the mind. Um, it also goes back to our mission and purpose. Sure. Where we like to prepare students to live a full and honorable life. And we do that by educating the hearts and minds of students. Okay. And why that's important is, and why it sets us apart is that knowledge is only as good as the heart directs it. Mm -hmm. So like the science of, of gas, right? That could be used to supply gas to homes throughout the nation, throughout the world, to provide heating, cooling, all kinds of things. That same, that same scientific knowledge can be used for gas chambers. Mm. What differentiates the use of that knowledge? It's the heart right. to do good. And that's at the heart. That's a perfect example of what sets us apart. So we really strive to do that. We do that with our virtues program okay. and uh, really help us to decide through also classical literature and history that all the good things and the bad things through the, our historical um, events of mankind helps us to really guide us to that. That didn't work, this worked. Right. See where this Analyze lacked heart? improve. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So that's one of them. Uh, the second one is we're like at the perfect size of a high school where we have great amenities, like I talked about the three pillars, yeah. and uh, where we have championship sports, we compete at the highest levels, um, uh, we compete with nationals, with our cheer, and all of those kinds of things, mm -hmm. along with our fine arts. And uh, we compete uh, nationals, we compete uh, all over the United States. And the, the unique thing about our school is that students don't have to just pick one thing. Okay. So we're large enough that we have all the great opportunities, sure. but small enough that they can truly pick many parts. So they can be an athlete and also in fire arts. They can be National Honor Society or Honors or AP, mm -hmm. but also be in a wide uh, spectrum of opportunities here. Okay. Yeah, the third unique side of that is, is everybody is rowing in the same direction. Mm -hmm. Everybody is committed to our mission, 
our purpose, our core values, everything. And that's that's where we have an opening ceremony every day mm, with students. Okay. It's a wonderful opportunity for our values, our mission, the emphasis on students and their growth and improvement gets highlighted. We talk about virtues in that, that uh, ceremony. We talk, we highlight yeah. students and great achievements that they've done. We do a quote of the week. It's a, it's a wonderful opportunity to talk about goodness. Sure. It really sets the tone for the rest of the day. Right, just gets everybody aligned right there at the beginning of the day. Absolutely, reminds everybody why we're here and what we're trying to accomplish. Okay, yeah, sounds great. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that you have, I mean, the space is great and all the different facilities that help support that whole child thing, mm -hmm. right? So that help go beyond the classroom. Can you ex talk about that a little bit more, what some of those clubs and some of those kind of extracurricular opportunities are that students have here? Absolutely, it's a good balance between fun and academic. Okay. Um, it's a writing club, we also have robotics club. We have um, anything and everything that student body would really drive. That's usually driven by the student body. Right. They get a faculty member to support them, but they really drive what's the need and they really get the group involved and mm -hmm. they really get to strive and drive those clubs. And so we have video editing, we have art design, um, we have robotics, we have writing club, and mm -hmm. the list goes on and on and on. Okay, yeah. and you said they get a faculty member to support them. It sounds like they could perhaps uh, spearhead their own clubs and new clubs as long as they get some support for it? Absolutely. Okay, yeah. Really cool. And in addition to all those clubs, how is the school helping prepare students for life beyond high school, whether that's college or perhaps other paths? Well, absolutely. We have an academic advising department so it's very focused on graduation and post-graduation planning. Okay. And we align and help them get prepared for anything and everything they want to do. If that's uh, primarily college readiness or career readiness, sure. Uh, we help them prepare the path. Okay. And what about the community here? Tell me a little bit about that and perhaps some of the parent involvement opportunities. Absolutely. Well, like I did mention, we're uh, in the best uh, town in the United States right? Uh, as of today. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. But <laughs> um, as far as our local community, it's wonderful. As I mentioned earlier, the Charger Way, it just goes throughout, goes throughout our Charger community. It's wonderful. Our parents are very involved. We have a boosters program. Um, each uh, program supports uh, either a fine art or athletics program. Mm -hmm. And it is, it is just wonderful. It is a great sense of community both inside as employees and external community with students and family. Okay. And do the students have opportunities to give back to the community as well? Absolutely. We're part of National Honor Society okay. and other programs here where volunteer hours are there. Um, but they actually volunteer their time all the time. It's a wonderful community. And so they have volunteer hours, they have leadership opportunities and to really grow and lead, lead our Charger community. So Benjamin Franklin High School, but it's not just a high school here, right? That's right. We are um, grades 7 through 12, okay. and it's a really unique opportunity, and it's wonderful. What I've been able to observe is that our junior high um, students really get to have the experiences of like a, a high school light, okay. if you will. So we have all the amenities of a high school, and they get to participate with all the same teachers who are on the varsity teams, or the advanced levels in fine arts, the honors, AP teachers, they're all part of the curriculum, the programs. And so it's a wonderful opportunity. It's almost like a high school prep okay. in the same building for the junior high. It's wonderful. So there's a lot of uh, um, integration, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, togetherness. At the same time, they do their own thing. Okay. They have all their own National Junior Honor Society. They have their own opening ceremonies. They have their own student government. But at the same time, it's a wonderful united campus. Well, it's great that they have that opportunity, kind of that pre-high school experience to transition easily. And then you also have the elementary school with all those collaboration ideas so you know students can really move through the different phases and then have their whole you know 7 through 12 here. Absolutely. We take care of our students and prepare them all along the way. As I mentioned with that we're a classical education, mm -hmm. college prep, liberal arts program, we really really focus on student achievement and we support them all along the way. And our uh, college and career readiness is wonderful. We have a 100% graduation rate and they're uh, highly achievable on uh, SAT and ACT scores and prepare them for college. And it's a wonderful opportunity. Um, about 25% of our student body that graduate start from kindergarten and go all the way up through the program. Wow. Well, number one rated city in America and 100% graduation rate. That's going to be pretty hard to beat. Absolutely. <laughs> one other aspect of classical education it has the three stages. And it okay. starts with the grammar stage. And it's our elementary campuses do a wonderful job. Essentially, that is to help make sure our students understand the English language so that they can actually learn to communicate, 
learn truth on their own and they don't have to rely on somebody else to read something for them. Mm -hmm. And so that grammar stage is really developed at our elementary campuses okay. and prepared them to come to our high school. The next stage is the logical stage. And that is where we learn concepts of logic and how mm -hmm. to use the English language essentially to put logical parts together okay. and reasoning. And then the next the next stage is the rhetorical stage, rhetoric stage. Right. And that is where, where I talked about earlier, where you know, we teach students how to think. That's right. where we teach students to take a position. And but through their grammar stage, their toolkit, and their reasoning, they really put together the foundation of why they believe what they believe. Right. And they can be influential and understand and pretend and, um, and defend why they believe what they believe. Sure. So building that tool set to not just take information in, but to analyze it and start applying it to, to their lives in and out of the classroom. Absolutely. And it's really highly uh, dependent upon source documents. As an example, we yeah. love and encourage our students to read the Declaration of Independence themselves. Sure. Learn all of the great things that are in there. And instead of relying on somebody reading it and getting their interpretation <laughs> right. of it. Right. Yeah, this is a, 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 maybe not a common thing, but Dr. Martin Luther King actually quoted the Declaration of Independence. Well, so if people don't know what's in the Declaration of Independence for themselves, they may not know and recognize the, str the truth that goes throughout our history and our How that's been States. throughout different phases. Absolutely. So important. Absolutely. And you mentioned that they get that foundation at the elementary school, so you have those elementary schools in the same network nearby. Absolutely. Yep. Our elementary schools are in our network close by and they come right into the high school. Great. Well, there you go. Can yeah. you get that foundation, come right up here, go through those phases and really preparing students for the future. Absolutely. Uh, well, it sounds like a great program. For parents that aren't familiar with where the school is, Where's the location and how can they get more information? We are on the Queen Creek and Gilbert border. Mm -hmm. and the crossroads are Power Road and Germain Road. Okay, yeah. great. For more information, the best place would be our website. That's at bfcsaz.com. And uh, we have social media outlets and other ways, but the best way is our website. Perfect. All right, well, thank you so much. It sounds like a great program. You can also get more information at scola.com where you can check out their profile, see all about the academic offer and how to apply. It's been a real pleasure, David. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Come anytime. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's Scola School Chat video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you would like to watch more of our awesome videos, make sure to click here. And to stay up to date with all the awesome videos we post and subscribe to our channel, make sure to click here. See you on the next one.